hey everybody it's charmel welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm here with this peachy makeup look so i did peachy eyes peachy cheeks and a peachy lip so if you want to see how i got this look just keep watching So I'm starting with my eyebrows already done. I did them off camera. Um, and I also primed my face. So I used my NARS Pour and Shine. So before I do my foundation, I'm going to use this brightening concealer from Benefit. It's their Boing Brightening Concealer. And this is in the number four. And I'm just going to apply a little of this underneath my eyes. Not only is it going to brighten um, my under eye. I feel that it also helps with my creasing a bit. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and I am using the color Nutmeg. It's with Deep Peachy Undertones. All right, so to conceal, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I am the, well, I'm using the color Butterscotch. And then to set those areas, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty setting loose setting powder in the color Honey. And then I'm also going to go in with my Morphe Bake and Set loose powder in Rich Banana. And I'm just going to use this to brighten it up just a little bit. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyelids. I'm using the Maybelline concealer in the color 35 Deep. And I'm gonna use this to prime my eyelids. All right, so the first palette I'm going into is the Tribe palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna use this orange color um, at the top center is the color Oromo and I'm going to use that in my crease. Alright so I'm going to go into a throwback palette. This is the Kat Von D. Um, what's this palette called? I want to say it's the Monarch palette, something like that. <laughs> but it's by Kat Von D. And I'm going to go into this orange color right here. And then I'm going to use that to deepen my crease. Then I'm going back in that original orange just to blend all of that out. And then for the remainder of my lid, I'm going to go into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to go into the color Candied Peach. This color right here. And I'm going to apply that on the remainder part of my lid.
think I'm gonna skip the liner because I don't know I want this look to be more soft so yeah I'm gonna skip the liner um, now I'm trying to decide what kind of lashes I want to put on so I think I'm gonna keep it simple with the lashes i'm going to put on this pair here just a standard simple lash these are a12s um from aliexpress or amazon if you like to purchase wholesale lashes all right so now i'm going to set the rest of my face first i'm going to use my l halo glow setting powder this is a loose powder i'm just taking a big fluffy brush And then I'm going to take a more compact face brush and I'm going to go in with another setting powder. This is a press foundation powder and this is from Cover FX in the color N100. And then I'm just going to further blend out. And then to contour or bronze. I'm going to use this Benefit Hula Toasted Bronzer. All right, now I'm going to pop on my lashes. All right, so I was not feeling that other pair of lashes. Um, so I ended up switching to my E9s instead. Um, for blush, we're gonna keep with the peachy theme. I'm gonna be using my Milani blush in the color Coral Cove. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using another throwback this is NARS Duo Highlight in the color Jubilation. So I'm gonna use this peachish um, highlight. And I'm gonna set my face. I'm using this ColourPop um, All Star Face Setting Spray. I'm going to pop in a nude liner in my waterline. Then I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line using Summer Yum from that Sweet Peach palette. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go into Georgina, this color here, and I'm going to open my inner corners just a little bit and then I'm gonna apply some mascara on my bottom lashes so I'm gonna line my lips I'm using the color I'm using the color nude truffle from NYX And then I'm going to go into this MAC Retro, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this is in the color Mademoiselle. And this can get very patchy. Um, so I'm just going to dab a little bit in the center of my lip. And then blend it out. And then I'm going to go into this So Juicy Lip Gloss from ColourPop. And this is in the color Feels Like Summer. And this gloss is really thick, so a little goes a long way. Final look.
so i hope you all enjoyed this look don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video